Shumai Baub. Hello everyone, Jason Shepard here from the Learn Welsh podcast and today I'm going to teach you some words that you can use when you're on the beach. We've had such wonderful weather recently that I thought, yes, you know what we need to do? Look at all the Welsh words or a selection of Welsh words that you can use when you're out sunning yourself, sun tanning, etc. Playing in the sea. And you know what? As soon as I thought about that and found some words that I thought would be really good to start off with, guess what happened? The weather started going weird. Started having storms and rain and lightning and all kinds of stuff. But by the time this video comes out, hopefully it will be sunny again. Now I want to start off. We had a word last time I taught you um, in a recent video and that word was beach in Welsh. Traith. Traith. Spelled T R T R A E I T R I and a T H at the end. Traith. Traith. So the first thing when you go down to the beach, you can say that you're on the beach. And this is how we say on the. R E. R on E the. R Traith. Are a trith on the beach. So we're going to be on the beach today. Are a trith heavy. On the beach today. Are a trith heavy. And what, might, and what might you see when you're on the beach? Well, first of all, if you're a child, you're going to go on the beach with your mum and dad, drop down all your bags for the day and then run over to the ice cream van. And ask, Mom, can I have an ice cream? And then the kids would beg and beg until Mum or Dad would get them an ice cream. And ice cream in Welsh is heven ya. Heven ya. Two words. Ya means ice. And you'll hear that probably uh, in other configurations like ice lolly or just uh, ice cubes, those kind of things. Heven ya. Heven ya. Once we've eaten our ice cream, as kids we'd be running about. And one of my favourite things, I used to love looking at shells, picking them up and finding different colours on the shells. Now shell in Welsh is Kragen. 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 And I'd pick up a little shell and I'd have a look at it. I'd have a look at that Kragen. And I used to love looking at for the different types of shells on the beach. Now, shells is kragen. Kragen, shell, kragen. Shells, kragen. Kragen. And all over the beach would be the kerig kranion. The pebbles, they'd be everywhere. Especially a very pebbly beach. Kerig kranion. Kerig Cranion. Pebbles. And then as children, we used to like to go to the rock pools and we used to see the little fish, the Puscod. Puscod fish. Puscod. We used to see the fish, uh, Puscod, and then we used to look and sometimes you'd see the crabs crawling around the rock pool as well. Normally little crabs around rock pools. And the crab in Welsh is crank. Crank, like the word crank, as in crank in an engine. A good way to remember the word is to think crabs, they can be very cranky. They're there with their pincers, and if you go near them, snap, snap. Crank. Crank. Another thing is if it got too hot, we would always make sure, too sunny, we'd always make sure to wear our sunglasses. And sunglasses in Welsh is spectol hyle. Spectol hyle. Spectol, glasses or spectacles, and hyle means sun. Spectol hyle. Spectol hyle. And if you were very unlucky, and as kids were running around and didn't hear mum say, come here, we're going to put the suntan lotion on you, we would get sunburn. Oh, I know. And that would hurt 
sunburn would hurt a lot and then we'd have to go home and get calamine lotion white lotion all over the arms to cool down the sunburn sunburn is chlosk heil double l chlosk chlosk heil oh no i've got sunburn oh it's hot oh chlosk heil sunburn lots of words there for the beach uh let's go through them Aratrith. On the beach, Aratrith. We had Hibanya, ice cream, Hibanya. Crank, crab, crank. Kragen and Kregen. Pascod fish, Pascod. Spectol heil, sunglasses, Spectol heil and Chlosk Heil, sunburn. Chlosk Heil. Well, I hope you've enjoyed today's video. If you have, please give us a big thumbs up. If you like what we're doing here, why not subscribe and click the subscribe button. Uh, if you want to, you can get notified for all our videos. And just to do that, just click the little bell. Uh, if you really enjoy what we're doing here and you'd like to support us, you can join the Learn Much Podcast Club learnwelshpodcast.co.uk or you can go to Patreon patreon.com slash learnwelsh either way you get loads of extra learning materials such as all the videos early uh, audio versions of the video lessons and you'll also get some stuff that you'll only get on Patreon and the Learn Welsh Podcast Club things like uh, a video that's coming out soon which is me teaching you how to sing the Welsh National Anthem. So whenever you go to a rugby match or you see one on TV, you can sing along with all the uh, rugby fans there. Great fun. Well, it's time for me to go and I'll see you soon. So all I want to say now is goodbye. Hoi! Oh.